Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to install and use the Bloodhound tool which is great for hacking Active Directory for example to find uh, possible attack vectors. Let's do this. First it's a good uh, idea to update repositories before installing it. Then type apt uh, install bloodhound. Along with bloodhound the necessary packages uh, such as the neo4j database uh, will be installed. Then install Bloodhound Python by pip. We will see what we needed after a while. Once uh, we have everything installed, to run a Bloodhound uh, we first need to run the Neo4j database. We will type uh, Neo4j start or console. In the console we can see the program load. A Neo4j account uh, has been created and the remote interface is running on the local host on port 7474. Once connected we enter the username and password, which is also Neo4j. Let's change the password. And uh, now we can go around Bloodhound. Type Bloodhound into the terminal. Then log in uh, with the Neo4j account uh, and the new password. 
Once Bloodhound is uh, up and uh, running, uh, I need to give it a collection of data. I can uh, get uh, that using scripts uh, like uh, bloodhound.ps1 or sharphound.ps1 from Windows or I can use bloodhound python that we installed. To demonstrate uh, how to use Bloodhound Python to get a data collection from Active Directory, uh, I use the Adaptive Directory machine from TryHackMe. So I will connect, start the machine, see if it's available. And uh, we can start. First, uh, we scan the machine uh, classically, which uh, give us uh, information like open ports, uh, domain names, etc. Next we would try different uh, attacks and uh, get for example uh, users uh, and uh, login credentials. I will skip this part because this video is about Bloodhound. So uh, once uh, we have the login credentials uh, of a user and uh, we know the domain, uh, we can use uh, LDAP uh, to get the entire Active Directory structure. We do this using Bloodhound Python dash d domain dash v like verbose dash dash zip for zip collection dash c all for all collection dash u user dash p for password and dash ns for our target And uh, we get the collection. Now just drag this collection into the Bloodhound. The data will then be imported. Once the data is imported, uh, we can start uh, working with it. We can use the search box uh, to find the domain admin group. We can use uh, the search box to find the domain admin group, for example. We can use predefined queries for analysis such as uh, final domain admins, users uh, with foreign domain group membership, find computers uh, where domain users are local admins and so on. List Kerberos table accounts. And uh, use uh, shortest paths. For example, shortest paths uh, to unconstrained delegation system or find uh, shortest paths uh, to domain admins. As you can see, Bloodhound uh, give us a nice breakdown of all the options uh, where we can find potential vectors to control the entire Active Directory. In this case, uh, we issue a backup user binding directly to Active Directory using uh, generic all rights. If we right click uh, generic all and uh, give help, uh, we can see what that means. 
As you can see, this permission means that the backup user basically has uh, full control. You can learn uh, how you can abuse uh, this on Active Directory control by uh, going uh, to the Windows Abuse or Linux Abuse tab, uh, where you can find uh, exact instructions uh, on uh, how to abuse this vector. You can also use custom queries. I am sure you can find queries on the internet, but uh, for example, I can post the query uh, here to find out of date systems. Or uh, find uh, users uh, that logged in within the last 90 days. or all active domain admin sessions, for example, and so on. Thank you for watching and uh, once I get 10,000 subscribers, uh, I will make uh, one interesting video on uh, how to easily create a malware that will pass the antivirus. So please uh, subscribe, uh, like and uh, share this uh, channel. Thank you very much.